live from Acadia, your local news leader. This is KLFY News 10 Morning Rush. The time is now 6.56. Let's get you caught up on today's top stories as you head out the door with the News 10 Morning Rush. The new opening of the new terminal here at the Lafayette Regional Airport starts today. Flights are scheduled to take off at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Allen. On Wednesday, local, state, and federal leaders attended the ribbon cutting for Lafayette's new regional airport. The governor called the project another jewel within the system of airports. I'm News 10's Britt LaFasso. Lafayette beginning its first super park. Two council members are fighting to make it happen. They say they hope to renovate Brown Park, making it similar to the Broussard Sports Complex for tournaments. President Joe Biden has completed one year in office. His administration has earmarked billions of dollars in funding for repairing and rebuilding infrastructure in Louisiana and recovering from Hurricane Ida. However, Louisiana Republicans are not impressed. They question the way the president has handled inflation, the southern border, foreign policy, voting issues, and the oil and gas industry. Good morning, Katiana. I'm News 10's Elise Corville. The site is up and running. You can now go online and order your COVID-19 test. Every home in the United States is eligible. They are free, but only four per household can be ordered. Good morning, Katiana. I'm News 10's Neil Zerang. New Iberia able to last the line for their COVID at home test giveaways. It's a stark contract to a couple of weeks ago when they ran out while there was still a line of cars waiting for them. Acadiana Eats this week in Ville Platte, baby. Yeah, you're right. Making a stop at Cajun Cravens on the go. A new food truck. You can keep up with them on social media to see where they will be setting up. Oh, and by the way, the full edition airs tonight at 5 p.m. Again, it's been a quick changing morning here so far. Most of your showers are done unless you're watching this morning from, let's say, Jennerette or St. Mary Parish as uh, all the rainfall is now east of us. But we're noticing the colder and windy weather. Temperatures continue to fall down into the upper 30s for the afternoon. So bundle up. All right, Caroline, of course, Lafayette Regional Airport, new terminal opening up today. Danielle Johnson showing us, giving us an inside look of what it looks like. Like you said, Caroline, well, one day we'll be there. Yeah, we'll be there to travel. <laughs> In her last little hit, I was hoping an airplane would fly behind I her. I was too. I was like, what Perfect. a cool shot. Uh, <laughs> must, she must be really cold, though. We got to brace up for the cold weather Reading. we're about to get. Well, yep. we are getting. Really. Yeah, I, I, I got ready early this morning. I already have my wool socks on, <laughs> have my rain boots and yep. raincoat ready to go. So <laughs> we're all ready. Yep. Stay warm and dry if you can, Acadiana. Thanks for joining us this morning. We'll see you back here at noon. Have a great morning. <laughs>